Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 15 of Diablo 3 on the Xbox One X. We are exactly where we were at the end of part 14. I did inadvertently, <laughs> off camera, went to this squirt the pedal here and accidentally bought Design of Hellfire Amulet, I think it was. It teaches Blacksmith how to combine demonic body parts into Hellfire Amulet. Totally by mistake, it was like a hundred grand, it was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I've got a hundred left. Gold isn't a problem in this game though, I understand. So, anyway, onward. Speak to Leah. We've got to reach the Emperor. He said he can lead us to Belial. Are you certain we can trust the child? We have no choice. But know this, if Belial gets desperate, he will unleash hell upon Chaldeum. So before we face him, we must evacuate the citizens. The Iron Wolves can help. The people must be saved, but quickly. Okay, I think that was a repeated piece of story. Uh, yeah, because Scar and Chaldeum I already had on my notes, so we're fine. Let's head to Chaldeum Bazaar. Belial has started his attack on the city. Let's go. Ashiri. Well, those guards don't seem that fussed about it. Hurry! We'll keep you safe. Ashira. Belial is desperate. If he must, he will bring down the entire city to stop us. When the fireballs began falling from the sky, we started evacuating the people. They will be safe here. We will save who we can. The Iron Wolves will assist you to the death. I saw people hiding under the carts. Bring them to the sewers. We can't risk our lives on this foolish heroine. Help the people! We must go to the Emperor immediately. We can't let these people die, Mother. Hurry! We'll keep you safe! Help the people! Come on. With us. To me. What's up, yeah? Give over. Who has brought this wrath down upon us? Uh all right. I don't have enough spirits. I can't die like this. I'm trying. Hurry up. I need spirit. Stay away from the big green stuff. Hurry. Not enough spirit. With me. Keep the people away from those fireballs. It's safe down in the sewers. Still got some over there. Lead the rest of the people here before it's too late. I'm trying to, but they keep running off. To hide. With us, come people, come. I need spirit. Like 
With me, people, with me. Come on. Why is the arrow the up gates. the other way? We have no time to lose. Oh. Let's go. Must have done it then. <laughs> Lord of Lies, is it? Now, Leah, use your power just the way I taught you, and bring down these gates. Stand back. I still can't fully control it. Do not worry about us. Uh, all right, that was the bazaar, wasn't it? City of Caldeo. Death to them all! Not enough spirit. Enough spirit. Kneel before the servants of Belial. No, thank you. That sorcerer's illusion blocks our path. Kill him. miss the reach of the pole a little bit. I feel like I can't reach them as, as much with it. Without it, it make some sort of sense. Again, daughter! so weak i i don't know if i can you must now the strength lies within you leah go leah use the force it is up to you now hurry i must stay here and tend to leah oh really well that's handy isn't it 
Right, what have we got? <clears throat> We've got 173 with a gem slot. 300 life per hit, which is quite nice to have. Uh, no experience. I don't want to lose the experience of the other one. For leveling up, I can go. <clears throat> yeah, they're pretty sweet, aren't they? There's life per second as opposed to life per hit. Plus 38 experience on kill on the ones I've got on as well. So... Mm, no. Plus ten percent movement speed. Uh, nothing stopping us using those zappers. Not that fussed about the next turret in vitality, are we? Bit of extra armor. Gain spirit whenever the vortex is at three or more stacks. You've arrived just in time. Show me the soul stone. You will see it soon. It will be your prison, Belial. Clever, but know this, Nephilim. Asmodan knows of the stone and the power it contains. Even if you defeat me, he will exterminate you and every last one of your misbegotten kind. Uh huh. Have it. I've come across your kind before, Belial. Not You'll enough spare no better than they. They never learn these bad guys, do they? Yeah. I need spirit. That is a melee
I cannot do that. Well, that used up a fair amount of those, didn't it, with the hellfire? I must wait to use that ability. Get it right there, find a little blind spot. Nearly there. Come on, Delay, I'll have it. Oh, easy, easy. Goodness me, look at all that shiz! Soul of Belial. Well, be rude not to take it. Clelia, seal Belial's soul within the stone. It is ironic that one as twisted as Zoltan Cool played so great a role in our salvation. He was once a tireless enemy of hell. From his life, let us learn. The longer we fight evil, the more it can corrupt our hearts. Talk to Tyriel at the hidden camp, seems reasonable. Leia's not looking too hot though, well she always looks hot, but you know what I mean? <laughs> she's not looking, she's looking a bit shady, health-wise at the moment. Yeah, I think we'll just I return to, to town. Right, before we do anything else, just have a little look at our kit that we've picked up. Well that's a... Well, yeah, one-handed axe with 156 damage on it. Ooh, plus 36 experience per kill as well. Thank you. It's not got the it's not got the 683 life per hit on that though. The other one has, which is particularly handy when you're in a fight. Ooh, what's this? Oh, hang on a minute. Wait there just a moment, because did somebody not say to me that the Book of Blah does identification? Identify your items in the inventory one by one and you can identify all the items in the Book of Cain. Oh, I see. 
So it's no different then, it just identifies them differently. What the shit? Who is he? What's happening? Unique. Equi what? Uh, oh, unique equipped. The Quin Blades are the only surviving weapons forged by Master Swordsmith Morad Piers, each a unique expression of his craft, made during Pierce's early period. Fulminator expresses through blinding speed and arcing lightning strikes its maker's youthful exuberance and the joy he found in his craft. 129 to 199 damage, 1.4 attacks per second, level 46 sword, chance to deal 16% area damage on hit, nice, ooh, plus 50 experience on the kill. So we can have that on, and the other one as well by the looks of it, because that's another, well that's the life on hit. Yeah, the axe is... Yeah. We could try the axe, actually, try and get the hit life on hit somewhere else, because that's plus 39 experience per hit as well, and it's a... Uh, it's not got as much damage as the other thing, though, has it? Oh, it's per kill, though, the experience. It's not like it's per hit. It's still high, though, isn't it? Yeah. So actually the weapon we had in that left hand was pretty sweet. 158. Plus 7 maximum spirit. 88 to 138 damage. 1.4 attack speed. Level 41. Right, so level 40. Yeah. So the damage comes down on the axe. Yeah, we've got the gem in there though as well, haven't we? That's getting us... It's got a reduced cooldown of all skills by 6% as well, isn't it, that axe? Yeah, I think we'll stick with the thing we've got in there. Do it, people. See, I don't understand that. Why is the armor on that? The attack's better, the armor's better, even though the armor on the other ones is 148 to 119. Must be the damage on the Tempest it's referring to or something. Right, it seems reasonable. We'll salvage what's in there then. Hey, lady, I got some new things. You should take a look. Right, Terrell, what are you saying? Today is a good day. You have liberated this land and brought low a lord of hell. Enjoy this moment, for tomorrow our war continues. There is no time for rest. <clears throat> Even now, Asmodan plots our destruction. The Lord of Sin is an uncanny tactician. He'll attack us where he believes we'll least expect it. And where defeat would break our will to resist. You are learning well, Leah. Now you must go to Chaldeum's great library and continue with your uncle's work.
talk to the caravan leader. We are leaving this place. Wonder what the next environment's going to be like then. Ooh, noble defiance. Let's see what that's like. Hmm. Plus two to eight life after each kill. One socket. Yeah. So three sockets on the other one, isn't it? It's pretty sweet. Right, let us leave this place. Uh, yeah, we did put the sword on. Sword's glistening with lightning there. I can be it? ready to leave at a moment's notice. Let me know when you are prepared to go. We are going, please. <laughs> 20 Gs. Into Act 3 we go. defy anyone to have better cutscene graphics than that. They're amazing in this game. Chaldeum is free from Belial and his deception. Only Asmodan remains. He sends his army forth to strike at us from the heart of Eriad Crater. Bastion's Keep 
is all that stands between us and certain doom. I will not allow it to fall. Bastion's Keep Watchtower. Snowy environments it is then. Snow for everyone. Hooray! The Keep's defenses cannot hold. Its soldiers are scattered, fleeing before Asnodan's onslaught, which rushes forth from Ariat Crater. Should the keep fall, Asnodan will claim the Black Soul Stone. If he does, there will be no hope for this world. The keep will stand. I will rally its defenders. Light the signal fires, and show these soldiers that we are not yet defeated. Salvation has arrived. Go, you are needed below. We are needed below. <laughs> See the little guards and everybody down there under that flag as well. The armory, is it? Black soul stones getting hotter, straining against me. It's getting They're higher. whispering to me from inside. The demons within seek escape. Only your power can keep it from splitting apart, my daughter. It's a heavy burden, but the fate of the world lies in your hands. Yes, Leah can handle this, although it will be very hard on her. what I was meant to do there to be fair. Bastions keep stronghold. What's it saying? Signal beacons and sky crown battles lit. Alright, I've got to light the beacons. Light the beacon! Young Hobbit. Someone's got to light those signal fires. Yes, yes, I'm on it, I'm on it. I've but first valuable new a merchant. I love the feel of discovering some precious item buried for years. Exquisite. <laughs> Buried for years, so it has. Ooh, four, three, one life per hit. That's better than what I've got on. No experience per kill, though. Every now and then you find something in the merchants, well I do anyway, that's just a tad better than what I've got. Faux Sanctum. Faux Show. 304 life after each hour. Okay. It's got a socket in it. So we could put the gem in there. It's got. Yeah, I think I'll stick with what I've got. It's got plus 9 damage on it and. Yeah, I think we'll stick with our punching thing. Uh, we're wearing a pair of pants that don't have a gem in them and should have. Just seen that there. Plus 9% damage to elite enemies, reduce cooldown of all skills, 6.5%, plus 30 resist to all enemies. For them. No bad, is that? Eh? However, I think we might be worth putting the extra 10% experience in rather than. Yeah, 
We've got pets, but they're, they're a bit rubbish. Half-formed golem and a Dominion's Revenge, which is like a space griff spaceship. But I think the pet collects your gold. So you'd have to keep running back for it, which is quite cool. I think we'll do that. Keep it on for now. But you must be able to buy pets, surely. Unless it's an online buying thing. He don't sell them anyway. It's this person. Get over here. So what if some of my goods come from dead soldiers? They're not using them anymore, are they? They're not, my friend. You are correct. Plus 48 experience per kill. Tempting. That was good damage on it. Nicola, please hide while I'm away. Never forget. Waypoint? That's not lit up for some reason. You heard the angel's command. Let the call sound forth. Bastion's keep shall not fall. Gotta go, Marta. Or those creatures need gem combiner, is it? <laughs> I'm sure I heard it. Ah, you would put the little ones together to... That's what I said. Oh, you need to train in it first. I come back this time. Ah, you've been saying that for 44 years. Go on. <laughs> Seem to work well. Not got what we need now to do any more. Looks of it. Required materials. Twenty G's, bejeweled combined gems. <laughs> Not bad, Stephen. Didn't even know I had some of these yellow ones. What do these do? Thorn damage reduces the resource cost. Bloody hell. They're pretty handy, aren't they? <laughs> Sit here with tapping myself out of money here, but never mind. So in fact, uh, 
We could probably remove a lot of these and put better ones in. Plus 20% bonus experience in the crown. I've only got two of those. I should have more of those. Prophet did not mention what a bore you can be. Ah, okay. Wait a minute. This could be plus fifteen damage, plus fifteen experience, plus twenty strength. And then I do that. It says other plus twenty strength. So does that mean it's not doing the? experience then. Hmm. I think I'm not understanding how this is working, am I? Oh, I see. Right, it's me being a donut. So the helm gives you plus 15 bonus experience. So that's fine. So we've put the right thing in the helm. But a weapon will give you plus 15 damage, and anything else will give you strength. Got ya. Okay. I got ya. So we're on pants at the minute, which means it will be plus 30 resistance. What's green then? Gold, critical hit damage, and dexterity. Ooh, life per hit, thank you. That's on a weapon. Plus 35 life per hit, plus 260 life per hit on a weapon. Have we got one? I don't know. Yeah, we'll equip that. So we could put that on our fisty cups. left. Resist all elements. Might be worth it, you know. taps out. Plus 20 strength. Intelligence. I'm not sure what they're giving me though, the, the actual dexterity strength and blah. I'm not sure what it's giving me. got vitality on the others. Um, let's just have a little look here. Got a bit sidetracked here, but... Uh, dexterity, vitality, movement speed, maximum spirit. So I think, I don't think we're on with any of that yet though, are we? That Paragon stuff I think comes after level 70, maybe. Oh. 
Ah, here we go. So, dexterity is the highest on ours. Primary attribute for demon hunters and monks. Increase all damage for demon hunters and monks by 1520%. Yeah, so it's gonna it's gonna really help us, isn't it? With the dexterity ones. Barbarians and Crusaders. Doctors, wizards and necromancers. Well, what about the oh there's demon hunters, yeah. Right, well that answers that question then. Uh Yeah, let's be careful here because though uh right, those pants are definitely us. Plus thirty dexterity, yeah, it's the same in both, isn't it? Oh, that's a ring, and that's a ring, yeah. So we might have on those for a while. Let's do these then. Nice. Well, that's going to have a big impact. Excellent. So where's that got us to then? One five eight zero. Oh. All right. Didn't seem to go up as much as I thought it would. But that's the character's attributes, not necessarily what's in the armor. Presumably. That must be because there's the stats at the bottom. One five eight zero. Oh. Alright, well that should help us out. Let's crack on. Right, we need to go... It was a bit of a sidetrack, wasn't it? Bloody hell, Steve. That's nearly an hour's worth. <laughs> Come on, let's see if we can light some beacons before the end of this part. Nothing can see. Sky Crown Battlements. Okay. Let's have a quick look around here. The Sky Crown Battlements is where we're meant to be going. Let's have a nosy about those, see what else is going on. I'm actually slightly tempted to start the battlement stuff for the next part, even though we're a bit shy of the hour mark. Uh, it seems a logical place to wrap it up. Before we get into the dizzy heights of Act 3. Because effectively this is the beginning of, of Act 3, isn't it? So... It didn't really do any harm to slow it down a little bit. Hmm. Expires in 27 days. Leoric Signet. Wearing that, though, am I? That's where we came from, I think. The armory. Merchant. Cooking and serving gruel ain't glorious, but these men can't fight and die on empty stomachs. Oh, 
Well, there's my other two guys. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to take out another character with me, but she's done all right, the Enchantress, to be fair. We haven't tried out the Scoundrel yet, who I suspect is more of a Dex character. But he was a bit of a knob, wasn't he? <laughs> but for the sake of a... I don't have any kit for him, to be fair. So he'd be a bit underwhelming until we picked up some gear for him. wonder if it's worth taking him out for a spin. Waiting for this. Get a bit of different conversation going. <laughs> that was worth it just for that. 20 G's. Comfort of strangers. Recruit the Templar, the Scoundrel and the Enchantress. Whoop, whoop. Go Team Steve. If we go to our follower, there we go. Ranged attacks that slow enemies. Shoot deadly poison bolt. I think slow is going to be much more help. Stop that. Blinds nearby enemies in front of the scoundrel. The scoundrel temporarily vanishes when in danger. Blinding enemies is going to be more helpful, I think. Deals damage in an area that has a chance to stun. The scoundrel will shoot multiple bolts at once. Uh, the scoundrel's special attacks have a chance to fire multiple bolts. It's a passive. Added on to that one. I think we'll stun. I like the effects that help me. Critical hits cause you and the scoundrel to temporarily deal more damage. Increased critical hit chance for you and the scoundrel. Um, increase the chance of critical hit, I think. Excellent. I'm not sure. Dug up some valuable new things. You really should take a look. Yeah. I know you can't put armor on them anyway, can you? It's just weapons. He's not got any crossbows anyway. Just going to buy him a half decent weapon is all I was going to do if he's got one. So can, um, can he use a normal bow? It says he fires bolts. Oh, there's one there. Steady Arcus of Agony. Demon Hunter only. Clever composite bow of agony. Um, doesn't really tell me, does it, if it can be used on that particular character? Find out soon enough, I guess. Well, it does. It's a light crossbow he's using. Oh, let's just spend the cash and see what happens. Cost six five. It said demon hunter only. Yeah, and it is demon hunter only. Fair enough. Fair enough. We it's a crossbow then. Well, he didn't have any. He had something. He didn't. There was somebody down here though, wasn't there? It's good to have some leadership around here again. Should cut down on the men's mindless Demon hunter panic. only. Oh, I don't think I can make things, can I, that aren't for my character? Oh, I can.
<laughs> oh, I'll give in. <laughs> it didn't say bloody demon hunter only when I went on it to actually make it. God's sakes. I don't get it because... A rare crossbow. Rare hand crossbow. Rare crossbow. Rare hand crossbow. So is it rare hand crossbow that we can't use on anyone else? Meaning, if I do a rare crossbow, that might be okay. Oh, it's a little adventure. Aye, thank you. Well, it's a little bit better than the one he's got, isn't it? 9.4 jump to 95.2. <laughs> I realise the bow's better damage, but something tells me, mind you, it is level 41 as opposed to level 36. But he seems to be a bolt person. Does that actually matter? Try it, so it happens. Well, that's interesting. He seems to have, yeah, it seems to have passed over the rings that had given the woman. A gift for me. I'm surprised I can't make a crossbow though that's higher than that. Oh, is it because I've not trained yet? I. Yeah, it would have been better making uh Doesn't seem to be that much higher in damage, does it? Oh, that is a little bit, 136. And it's got a space for a gem in it. Well, this is a little voyage of discovery to take us to the hour. Oh, Fifty plus fifteen damage in a weapon. That'd be handy for him. Plus six hundred thorn damage in a weapon. It's not bad, is it? Should we give him that? Oh. Can't for some reason. Yeah, it's that, isn't it? Yeah, quarry brews. Lovely. Right, well, I think it's an ideal place to wrap it up. Well, I would apologise for the slow ending, but actually I found that very useful. Who's this dude here? Neck Brawler. Oh, a training ground. Right, yeah, no, I found that particularly useful, actually, and... 
because I, I clearly was misunderstanding how the gems worked in each different part, like a weapon or a helm or a whatever. Other. So that's been particularly useful, and we're getting much more out of what I've slotted in now, without any shadow of a doubt. And in the next part, we'll check out the scoundrel as a, as a partner. To be honest, I kind of forget the partner's there half the time, but a ranged partner's actually quite useful for some of the enemies that are flying around, or on higher ground or whatever. Well, there you are, folks. It has been an honour and a privilege to see you once again in Diablo 3 on the Xbox One X, and I shall catch you in the next one. Take it easy, folks. Bye.